Welcome back, True Believers, and all you DC fans out there to another very special video, because today, at the time of this recording, it is October 16th, 2021, which, in case you don't know, is DC Fandom, the second annual DC Fandom event, which, of course, celebrates anything and everything pertaining to DC Comics, movies, games, TV shows, all that great stuff, and I thought I'd do at least one video today celebrating the occasion, even though I'm mainly... A Marvel guy and mainly Spider-Man of course. I still love DC and of course Batman is my favorite DC character of all time just like I'm sure he is for a lot of you as well. But I also love other things within the DC universe like Superman and The Flash. And recently it's interesting because I was not expecting to make this particular video for DC fandom because if you do remember last year I was very much looking forward to the upcoming video game announcements from Warner Brothers games with Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League being developed by Rocksteady the main developers behind the Arkham games and Gotham Knights who of course are the developers or the Warner Brothers games Montreal is the developers for Gotham Knights who made Arkham Origins who did showcase two new trailers for both of those games today during DC Fandom after waiting a year since the last one. However, I saw them, and I wasn't really too fond of what we saw. I mean, I'm very shocked that we did not see any gameplay for Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League after waiting so long for any bits of info. And the story trailer was cool, getting some looks at The Flash and Wonder Woman and Superman, of course, and more of the, the Suicide Squad. But I was expecting a more hands-on demo of actually knowing what the game is going to be and how different it or similar it could be to the Arkham games and for Gotham Knights it was kind of more the same like what we saw last year we did see more of the story I guess with the Court of Owls and a, a closer look I guess at some of the other characters like Red Hood and uh, Nightwing but that was it and Penguin of course as one of the main villains of the game or a character in the game at least but nothing a whole lot more in-depth with it. We got a behind-the-scenes of that game, just learning more about the Court of Owls. But, again, I was expecting a lot more, so I, I was shocked. Whereas last year, those were the main focus items I was looking forward to the most, instead of the Batman movie. And then after having seen that trailer, I didn't react to it on the channel because I wasn't expecting it to be that damn good. But after seeing that first trailer, I was blown away. I think Robert Pattinson is going to do a kick-ass job as Bruce Wayne. And Matt Reeves is a total visionary when it comes to how I think he's going to approach this version of Batman in his own unique world. And I love how it's just, again, more dark gritty detective noir style thriller with the Riddler kind of being like a jigsaw figure what they've kind of discussed about their approach to the Riddler in this movie and as well as Zoe, Zoe Kravitz as Catwoman and just this whole cast looks like it's going to be a, a total one-to-one -one iconic interpretation of how we see and know these characters from other previous forms of media but revitalizing them in a completely new way gets me super pumped just like what we've seen with spider-man the insomniac games what we're hopefully going to see with wolverine and the other game as well and also the guardians of the galaxy in the idos montreal game that's coming up relatively soon in the movies i feel like sometimes they play it a bit too safe uh from time to time uh, mainly with the MCU kind of doing a lot of formulaic stuff that you know what to expect with those films. This looks completely different and unique, just like one of my favorite movies of 2019 was the Joker movie with Joaquin Phoenix. I think this is definitely going to blow it out of the park, and I think this is going to be my movie of 2022, as a lot of people will probably think of for sure. So I'm actually going to react to two separate videos here. We have the main trailer from DC Fando, but it looks like there's also a 1 minute 20 second behind the scenes a uh, little sizzle reel, I think, of the movie in action and how the actors behind it, of course, are approaching the film. And the director, of course, too. So, I haven't seen this. I saw the trailers for Gotham Knights and Suicide Squad, but I kind of logged off after that. I didn't see this as it was happening live, but now I am going to check it out uh, with this trailer. So, I'm very, very pumped to see what's going on. Oh, man. The Batman. I just love it. It's just so simplistic. The Batman, too, is the title. All right. Three, two, one, go. Already off to a great start. <laughs> okay. Is that Paul Dano? The Riddler? Oh, dude. I'm scared, dude. I feel like he's gonna do something messed up to these people. Or just in the movie in general with the dark tone we saw in the first trailer. Oh, dude! Oh, let's go. Nirvana again, dude? Yes. Dude. Light, it's 
this guy? Oh, his suit looks goaded. Oh, his suit looks amazing. I love how he's not super buff, too. You know, he's just, like, intimidating but lean as well. Oh, God. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa. Was that, like, a gadget or, or a weapon that he had, uh, the thug? Yo. Whoa, dude. Dark Knight vibes a little bit there. I can take care of myself. Mmm, Selena cut the short hair! And long hair, okay. It won't be long before Cobblepot! Alfred Andy Circus! I don't care what happens to me. What is happening? He looks crazy without the cowl on. Wow. He's not like scared of him, he's just like, who is this guy? All right. So oh, the sunset tone in this. Don't let her get too close, Bruce. Whoa! What? How tough is that armor? The Batmobile looking nasty! Wow. Ooh, the dirty cowl. Ooh. Gordon! Whoa! See you in hell, that said? I think Andy Serkis is going to do a great job as Alfred. Dude, he looks mad! Uh-oh. Wow. Ooh! Oh! Yo! That shot! This music, I think the composer is Michael Giacchino. I, I've never been a fan of his, like, because I think it's the same guy who did the music for the MCU Spider-Man films, if I'm not mistaken. And he's approaching this Batman movie as well. So I, when I first heard, like, snippets of the theme, like, okay, that sounds all right, nothing too crazy. But there? Holy smokes. I'm a big music guy, if you guys don't know. That sounded incredible. And that looked visually stunning. Matt Reeves, the way he's approaching this, again, being more personal to Bruce's character. He's early in his career as Batman. He's really trying to understand what type of figure he can be to the people of Gotham. Should he be a symbol? Should he be, like, a threat? Should he be, like, a savior? Like, a, a force of, of, not darkness, like an evil, but just, like, a, you know, intimidating and, like, don't cross me or else you'll get, you know pumped down by Batman, just pummeled by his fists of fury. Like, dude, he is killing it with how he's portraying this story in terms of the narrative uh, with the Riddler and Batman. Gonna have this, you know, like, not rivalry, but just like this head-to-head, -head, like a, bod a battle of the brains, pretty much. Like, what's gonna happen between Riddler's scheme and him trying to go after Batman? Maybe he might know who he is? I don't know for sure, but man. And Robert Pattinson, oh my god, we didn't really get to see a whole lot of scenes with him acting uh as batman or bruce wayne just like that scene where he's like hitting the the, the wall against uh, riddler but he's gonna knock it out of the park he's such a talented actor in my opinion and if you just ignore twilight i think that his talent alone in, in other movies like um good time i think it is and the lighthouse with, with willem dafoe was also a great movie too um He's going to kill it. But uh, let's see what this behind-the-scenes clip has now. So that was the trailer. It looked amazing. What about this behind-the-scenes clip? All right. Behind-the-scenes Batman clip from DC Phantom. This was posted on IGN. All right. Three, two, one, go. That suit, dude. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa. For some reason, Batman just always stood out. It's one of the major characters of the 20th century, and so many people connect to it on such a deep level. What's up, Rob? So different reasons. Cool. The first conversation I had with Matt about it, I just knew there was something radically different. It looks Remember amazing outside of the before. suit with the cowl off. The Riddler, dude. I love how dark they're making him in this movie. I felt that we'd seen lots of origin stories. We'd right. seen things go further and further into fantasy. And I thought, well, one place we haven't been is grounding it the way that year one does. All right. To come right in to a young Batman. 
not be an origin tale, but refer to his origins and shaken to his core. The cinematography looks outstanding. Right the beginning, there's a desperation to it. He's really Alfred looks clean, strange. dude. Andy Serkis goaded. Personal. Whoa. What's so wonderful about this world? Zoe Kravitz, the man, just exploration of the gray area. Neat. That woman really wants to fight for those who don't have someone else to fight for them. And that's where Batman and her really connect. Mm-hmm. He's not so allies. His kind of justice. He's just compelled to do it. There is no other option. Well, Batman with a bat. Hold on. We're just gonna ignore that. <laughs> Dude. That up close, up close shot of him in the mask in that trailer too. But just seeing him like grounded in the sense that you're not seeing him team up with the Justice League or even like uh, the Nolan verse stuff where he's like very sophisticated in that way. He's gritty. He's like still, again, like what Matt Reeves just said, he's coming to terms with himself as uh, Batman and he's still learning what to do in that role. But he's still angry at the world and just at, at at criminals because of how they robbed him. The injustices of evil stole his parents. And that's so cool to see them explore that deeper and darker in this way. I think is super encapsulating. And I, again, as a gamer, you know me, games are my forte. I prefer superhero games over any other type of superhero media out there. Because I think the stories and interpersonal connectivity that you can get with the characters by playing as them has a lot more depth than simply watching a movie or a show. But this looks amazing. I think that this is certainly going in the route that I prefer for my superhero films. Again, more personal, more grounded, more dark, or just mature in the sense of how you can really tell a, a, a brooding story fitting for a character as as compelling as Bruce Wayne and exploring all these different avenues with his character in this way is, is what I'm craving to see the most out of this movie. And he's going to do excellent. Again, Matt Reeves, the whole team, Robert Pattinson, Paul Dano, Zoe Kravitz, Andy Serkis. It's going to be outstanding. Those cinematography shots of some of those, of those moments in the first trailer or this, this trailer, the first video we saw, was surreal i think and i i'm expecting them to do things that we've never seen with batman before in this movie so anyways guys that was my reaction for the batman movie trailer from dc fandom 2021 hope you hopefully you enjoyed my reaction but also hopefully you enjoyed dc fandom i think last year's was better in, in all honesty but i think this one still had it, its time to shine and uh, had some highlights throughout the show, which I think were fun. Mainly the Flash movie with Ezra Miller was cool looking. And some of the stuff that we saw from Gotham Knights and Suicide Squad was cool. I just wish we got more from them. But this was certainly the, the standout of the entire show. And I can't wait to actually see it once it releases in theaters. But again, thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you did enjoy. Let me know all your thoughts about the Batman and DC fandom. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Are you looking forward to this movie? Let me know. But until next time, true believers, stay awesome DC fans and peace out.